Did I, uh, did I frame this shot appropriately? It's supposed to be extremely wide to show how extremely alone I am. <laughs> at midnight last night to make overnight oats. To kind of control my anxiety uh, and to maintain a, uh, a relatively good state of mental health, I know that I require quiet spaces. I'm like, it's like batteries. You know how some stuff is like stored in a cool, dark place? That's kind of how I am. It's so funny how we like label ourselves as like, oh, I don't cook. Oh, I do cook. It's always like the extremes. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I kind of Frankenstein a lot of my meals here. Um, and they end up turning out great. <laughs> Honestly. Like, it's just for me. So presentation doesn't really need to be a factor. But yeah, I've been cooking a lot more. I joined this rock climbing slash we work slash gym um, here in Indy. It's called Mass North Mass Bouldering. I was craving some place to like meet people my age, and it serves as a great platform for that. I'm just sitting in the studio. Yo yo yo! I'll let you go, man. Go ahead. We are at. We're at the gym. Not the gym, we're at the bouldering. Uh, this giant building here. What's up bros? So I come here a few times a week and I work from, they have a co-working space up there. So it's like a gym, it's a rock climbing space. Uh, it's just like this giant warehouse um, <clears throat> full of people who eat avocado toast and who have tattoos and stuff. So it's a really good vibe in here. And for someone who doesn't have like a huge social group in this new city I'm living in, um, it's just really nice for me to come in here and like meet people and just interact and have connection. Thanks, man. 
I'm really close to finishing uh, a documentary I've been working on for a few months. So excited to share it with you guys. This is my fifth documentary, and this is something I'm, I'm really excited for, and it'll be out very shortly, probably uh, within this month. I'm turning 30 in less than two months, August 30th. I've seen myself progress as a filmmaker, photographer, mainly just a human. I've progressed a lot as a human in the last year, closer to my friends and family than I've ever been. Overall, I just feel grateful and uh, proud of myself for, uh, I don't know, just for my life, I suppose. Speaking of being reflective in your late 20s, <laughs> feel very grateful. I love you. Oh, I love you. Yes, daddy does. Yes, he does. I heard this thing that uh, if you eat peanut butter before bed, you get like these crazy sex dreams. I don't know if it's like true or not, but I feel like, I don't know. It's probably bullshit. Yeah, some peanut butters. <laughs> peanut butter. This is my second time. The first was, I don't, I don't really count college. Uh, I had a roommate in the dorms, even though it felt like I was living alone. Um, in 2019 in LA, I lived alone for almost a year. It was cool. I liked it. And this time around is, is a bit different because I'm not in, uh, I'm not in a big city, so I would say I would say it's been a, a fairly like isolating six months in this apartment. Hope you guys are just um, having a beautiful summer. Uh, yeah, just uh, sending sending so much love your way if you need it, uh, and if you don't, just keep keep passing along, keep passing that love along, baby. I'm gonna finish this tea and uh, take the dog on a walk. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl. I love you, and I'll see you. Bye.